I love nature. And I think that's why I chose to be a biologist. Innovative. It's like the gateway to Tampa Bay. Inspiring. And I like the way our island hammocks have prospered. Passionate. And we care about the environment. These are words often used to describe Dr. Brant Henningsen, the chief advisory environmental scientist with the district swim program. That's a lot lower than last time. Henningsen is one of the original members of the program, which stands for Surface Water Improvement and Management. And after 31 years with the program that is responsible for 99 projects restoring 4,647 acres in Tampa Bay, Henningsen is retiring. My tenure here at SWIM has just been an adventure from day one. I've been a, I'm very proud to have a chance to, to work with SWIM. And given the opportunity I've had to work on some amazing projects with amazing people. His retirement comes a month after receiving the prestigious Dr. Nancy Foster Award for habitat conservation given by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Henningsen is part of an elite group of just 22 winners. He's done so much to bring awareness to the need for ecosystem restoration as well as developing new methodology for improving restoration techniques now and even into the future. Henningsen oversaw the Rock Ponds Ecosystem Restoration Project, the largest project of its kind in Tampa Bay, at just over 1,000 acres. In fact, more than half of the 4,600 acres restored through SWIM were in projects managed by Henningsen. There's always something else you can do. And his stats don't end there. He's led 138 volunteer events, 171 site tours, and 302 presentations to educate and inspire others to get involved. I think that's one of the things that we're gonna miss when he retires. Randy Smith, the district's Natural Systems and Restoration Bureau Chief, said Henningsen's dedication is unmatched. What I think we're gonna miss the most is the passion. Um, Brant brings a level of passion to the work he does at the district um, like I, I haven't seen. But Henningsen maintains his achievements were a team effort. It's not just because of my work, it's the work of hundreds if not thousands of people that have been working for the last about 40 years to make Tampa Bay and bring it to where it is today. Some of his most significant contributions are in the restoration projects he's built. But for me, I think his greatest contribution was his impact and his mentorship on the people who have crossed his path over the years. And for Henningsen, bringing meaning to his work has been his goal. A lot of public sector jobs, uh, most people don't do it for the money, they do it for other reasons. This can be very fulfilling when you step back and can look at your life work and go, hey, maybe I made a difference. <laughs>